Hello and welcome to this pit stop for Trap Words, a game designed by Jan Brezing, Martina Chabalek and Michal Pozarek, published by Czech Games Edition. In Trap Words, the players are going to split into two teams. One player on each team in each round is going to be the clue giver holding the torch, and they're going to have to clue a word to the rest of their team to guess, but there are many rules around that. First of all, the other team are going to draw the word card from this deck. Now, there are fantasy or more modern themed words on here, depending upon which books you play with. They're going to secretly get to look at it. We've got fingerprint. Then, the team who are not guessing get to write down some trap words on their piece of paper, secretly away from the clue giver and his team. The number of trap words they're allowed to select is equal to the room number the other team are in. In this case, for fingerprint, we've written dust, evidence, and unique. They then hand the word across to the clue giver, who gets a couple of seconds to look at it, and once I've looked at it for a couple of seconds, this time it gets turned over. The clue giver is attempting to give hints to their team in order to guess whatever the word is, in this case, fingerprint. However, if the other team take, give five incorrect guesses, they failed and they won't move through the dungeon, or if the clue giver gives an illegal clue, now that may be against the rules of the game, for example, proper nouns or sounds like or things like that, or they may have said one of the trap words secretly prepared by the other team. If that does happen, then their team is not going to move on this turn. The torch will move along, they'll have another clue given next turn, and this team gets to guess, and that team gets to write the trap words. As teams do get things correct, they will progress through the dungeon, meaning their opposition can write more trap words because the numbers will always go up. Also, you may encounter curses as you go through the dungeon, and these come from a deck. There are various ones, various ones often like Phantasmal Snake, meaning you can't hiss and say any words that start with an S. Or you may petrification, meaning as soon as your team has given one guess, you can no longer say any words. Now, teams may progress through the dungeon and eventually meet the monster, or on any turn in which neither team progresses, the monster will come towards you, pushing curses ahead of it, and this is how you win the game. When you're in the same room as the monster, you will face whatever its special power is. There are five of them available in the base game. And this one for Troll, for example, says your clue giver can say no more than 10 words. There's a more mean word version that says you can give no more than five words. If you manage to get your clue while you're with the monster and the other team doesn't, you're the winner. If both teams manage to get their clues, it's the team that did it in the shortest time. You simply do that by pausing the timer, and then turn it over the other way for the other team to go, and they'll have that amount of time to get their clue in. Either way, whichever team gets their way through the dungeon, guessing their clues and avoiding the trap words set for them, will become the winner of trap words. This has been a Game Pit Pit Stop. For more videos of this, check out our YouTube channel. For in-depth coverage of gaming, please check out the Game Pit Podcast. Thank you.